Let's talk toys. What's up, all you Comic Con loving dudes and you dads? Toy Shiz here, and I got a really special, fresh look for you today. We are totally going to be checking out the brand new Mattel STCC exclusive, The Strange Lives of Batman. They sent this over to me to give you guys a fresh look before the convention even started, and for that, thank you so very very much i was not expecting the box to be this big this thing is 22 inches long by 15 inches wide and it is covered in old-fashioned detective comics and batman comics it is a supreme love letter to the silver age of batman and for a Comic-Con exclusive, Mattel just embraces that. On the flip side, we have Adult Collector with the Mattel logo and the warning, don't put anything in this box in your mouth. It's a choking hazard, of course. We have an 80-page giant Batman full color on this old-fashioned newsprint. Let's open this up and take a better look inside. And just as a heads up, there are pieces of tape right here and right here. It's keeping the flap of the box closed, but... If you just go slow, the tape actually comes up really, really easily. Just go nice and slow. So in opening it better, now that I have the flap up, I can see that this is actually a just an enclosure for the larger package inside, which is all kinds of awesome. So I'm going to slip that out. And I mean, I'm not going to even lie right now. The, the packaging on this alone is amazing. This is an entire slip cover that goes over the box that houses the figures and again it's just a it looks like a comic book it looks amazing this is incredible look at all this stuff you know what here let me show you so this is basically it's a slip through see through and this is quite awesome on the back of the slip cover is all the different issues of where these batman have come from with the page numbers table of contents and the other thing I want to say, besides to just Mattel in general for sending this over to me, I want to thank Bill Beneke, Roy Juarez, Autumn Borges, Robert Redman, and Day6 Creative. Also, brand manager Josh Graham and project manager Jason Lai, because, I mean, they absolutely killed this thing. This is amazing. So, again, to them especially, thank you very much. So you got Zebra Batman. That's amazing. Get, get back, everybody. Batman has become a menace. That's funny. You got the Rainbow Batman, which, do the research on these things before you guys say stuff. My God. And then you got the negative Batman. Golly, since Batman turned into a negative man, light beams are gradually destroying him. Why not? And then you got good old classic Batman, and you got Robin in the background. That is so cool. But the one other surprise that they threw in this box is that up top right here, is that if you lift up this secret slip cover, you got Old Man Batman, Alien Batman, you got Batman's robot twin, which is like a mask thing that goes over him, you got Bruce Wayne's head, and then you got a Batman pinup poster that's in there, and then all these things right here, you got... <laughs> that is... That's amazing. I, I can't even tell you. That is so friggin' cool. Thank you, Mattel. But I'm gonna yank all these out. We're gonna have a good time. This is the Mattel SDCC exclusive The Many Strange Lives of the Batman Comic-Con DC Multiverse set. Really quick, I'll just show you. If you take out the packaging, which each individual little tray comes out with the figure inside, inside is this amazing old comic book artwork from each of the individual Issues, you can see Robin, you got this, Robin's up top again. It's amazing when you get a Robin figure, I'm telling you. <laughs> and just all the different comic panels from each of the individual issues. This alone, just for like a display base or anything, I, ah, this is so freaking cool. One thing I'm going to warn you about though, each of the figures do have the usual twisty ties, but then they also have the ties that are tapered through the cape. I'm not a fan of that at all because now there's a hole in the cape, but just FYI, don't, if you get this set, don't just rip them right out. This is on every single one as well. So even, you know, this Batman up here, he's got it, he's got his cape held into place. You're gonna have to take them out slowly, snip around the things holding the cape in, just don't cut the capes because then that's just gonna be all kinds of awful. And here's every single one of the Batman out of their packaging, and when you got them all lined up like this, they actually look pretty darn cool. So much wackiness 
that it's just um, amazing that they would even produce these types of figures. Yeah, you're getting a standard Batman. You got Rainbow Batman, Negative Batman. He's always so dang negative, that Batman. And then you got Zebra Batman, because that was the thing. Like, you know what? Screw it. Let's just make something weird. And kids loved it. People read it. It was a lot of fun. And part of me loves that Mattel did this because in terms of what is happening with DC Comics these days, forgetting the fact that their characters are absolutely insane. They're just bat poop crazy. That actually kind of worked out. They need to have more fun with their movies. Just go nuts. It's a comic book movie and look no further to see that Batman is crazy. It is a crazy notion. It's a man dressed up like a bat. I'll tell you what, I invite you all go in and read up on these characters, you know, find out more about them if you're curious because they're crazy stories, but they're fun. And that's what started Batman. It's important to know where these characters come from so that you can make decisions when you go and see these types of movies and not just look at it for face value and go like, that's not my Batman. Well, did you know that Batman wore a rainbow costume? No, a lot of you didn't know that. In fact, you thought it was for something else. So you all need to read some books. I'm just, I'm just going to say that. So let's take a look at each of the individual figures. So first up is the zebra Batman. Now keep in mind, every single one of these Batman have the same type of articulation and one secret function that I will show you at the very end of the review. But overall, this figure is painted beautifully. He looks great. He's got fantastic detail application. I look this guy over pretty darn good. He doesn't really have any type of blemish to him. The lines are all pretty darn crisp for the most part. There might be some overlapping here and there, but it kind of looks like it adds to the function of the suit and how the lines are supposed to be. So I definitely dig this. I especially love the head portrait on him. It looks just, it's weird, man. It's weird and I'm digging it. I think it looks fantastic. Now the capes on the one hand, I will say that is probably the biggest drawback for these figures. They're not a cloth. They're almost like a plastic type cape. You can kind of hear that they crunch like that. So it's not preferable to a cloth cape. I would have liked that a lot more. So that's one thing that I will say that I'm not too happy about with the set. However, I did leave the little cords in so that I will be putting these back in the box because I love the way it looks all displayed. And to be quite honest, I think that this may be one of those sets that you might want to keep in the box if you have an area to display it. I do have an area that I'm going to put it up for display. It looks like a giant comic book. So it's, yeah, they're definitely going to just fit back in the box and be on display like that. But I don't think you can go wrong with the zebra Batman. <laughs> This, this is wild. Next up is the Rainbow Batman. And yes, much like the Zebra Batman, Batman needed a new suit to solve a mystery. And it's absolutely insane. But it's very, very cool at the same time. No, this has nothing to do with what I think you think it does. This is from the Silver Age of Batman. Let it B. However, with all the different stripes and the colors for this Batman, it is painted really quite beautifully. There are minimal blemishes here and there, maybe like in some of the joints, as you can kind of see. But yeah, for the most part, I love the detail on this Batman. He looks great. This is, that's some great line work to him. The boots, I love that one side's red, the front is black, the top is purple and green, on the other side it's blue. They they just, they nailed the fun of this one, man. I'm liking this Batman. That's that's a cool, that's an interesting looking Batman. When Batman is wanting to feel extra negative, he dons his negative suit. No, I'm just kidding. He got hit with the rays of an atomic camera. Because why not? This Batman in particular, he's got some really nice white and black deco to him. I really like the bat symbol. I like the face part right there. This all very cool. It's got a little bit of white right there, a little bit of like an airbrush kind of effect that mixes well with the costume. For the most part, he is a solid just black plastic figure, but the added bits of white make it look really cool. Well, actually, I have to take all that back. The cool part actually about this figure is that he is a clear plastic Batman so that in some light instances, you can see right through the figure and that resembles his comic book 
story. So I do really like that little bit of attention to detail. Unlike the Zebra Batman and the Rainbow Batman, this negative Batman actually has a more felt cape to him and I actually prefer that a whole heck of a lot. Not a big fan of the plastic kind of crunchy cape. I like my Batman capes to be a little bit more windswept, as you can say. But this is a great negative Batman. I think you're gonna like it. And I love that little attention to detail of making him clear plastic. And finally, that brings us to the ultimate Batman, the one true Silver Age Batman, gray and blue with a little bit of a black to his mask. This is my favorite one. Now, you're probably saying, well, it's just a regular Batman. It's a blue Batman. Yeah, but it's... It's Batman. Like, you have all these other wacky costumes, but this is just a pure entity form of Batman, and he looks great. From the face mask down to his chest piece, the belt, the blues. I love his cape. It, like the negative Batman, he's got that really nice felt cape to him. As far as articulation goes, his head is on a really nice ball joint. It looks every which way. Doesn't look up too much, but will look down just a little bit, so that's good. He's got a ab crunch that goes down, but not so much up. He's got rotation at the arms, biceps swivel. He's only got single jointed elbows, and he's got some wrist rotation. It doesn't go to and fro. He kicks out, kicks back to the side. Thigh swivel, double jointed knees, and he's got articulation in the ankles, up, down, left, Right, here's where it gets weird. Now, you're probably thinking, well, wait a minute, didn't you show me a bunch of add-on heads and such? Well, let me show you what happens here. So, as we've already went over, Batman has had many strange lives. So, with this particular new Batman, now you can do this with every figure that you got. But because all these other extra characters fit primarily with this type of blue cape with the gray bodysuit, you just kind of go over and kind of fit your thumb right underneath his jawline and you actually pull off the lower part of Batman's mask and you're left with this, but you can use this and this just fits right underneath. And lo and behold, you now have Robot Batman and that actually looks really cool. I'm digging that. It's like a uh, old fashioned hard act, if you will. But I think honestly, this may be my favorite of them. This is Rip Van Winkle Batman. And it's basically like the equivalent of old man Batman. Like he's just, <laughs> he's just saying like, get off my lawn. Get out of the bat cave, Robin. What are you doing? This is probably gonna have to sit on my shelf now. I know I said I was gonna put it back in the box, but I'm probably gonna have to fit this on my shelf now because I have an old man like a homeless looking dirty wizard Batman. That is amazing. Now with the other heads, you simply just pop this right off. And the nice thing about it is these heads are really squishy. And unlike a lot of DC Multiverse figures, this actually fits rather nicely right onto the ball peg. In fact, I am so happy that it does that. It's not even like a problem to get these on, but this wild character is the alien Batman. I love the paint on this guy, I love the ears. It's outlandish, it's wackadoo, I love the eyes. His little antennae are flexible, his ears are flexible. So one thing I will say is that the head looks just a little bit too big for this Batman, but I'm gonna let it slide because I'm gonna show you the last one and then you can decide what you think. So with the last head, you're actually getting a Bruce Wayne head. Now I will say this, I, I appreciate you giving me a Bruce Wayne, but I wouldn't necessarily say this is Bruce Wayne. It, it looks different or looks off. I would have preferred more of a Silver Age looking Batman, Bruce Wayne, that fit more with the artwork. So while I do appreciate it, it's a tad, I feel like, too big for the body. It's not a bad looking head by any means, but this particular head is too giant for the body, especially since the head itself is bigger than the Batman head with the mask on and everything. So that is, I would say, a gripe with the box set and one of probably the only ones besides the crunchy type capes on the other two figures. Other than that, I think this is a knockout box set. And one more thing before we go, there is actually a poster within the box set. I got the Zebra Batman comic book cover. I wonder if there are a couple different ones. Maybe each set has something different. So if you do get the box set and you get a different poster, let me know which one you got. So that's going to do it for my fresh look at the brand new Mattel DC Multiverse, The Many Strange Lives of the Batman box set. 
Thank you again to Mattel for sending this over to me. This was an absolute joy to look at. This is a beautiful set. It's a love letter to the Silver Age of comic books. It embraces the fact of Comic-Con. It tells you and shows you the history of a character, all the wackiness, whether it may be good or bad, it's still the history of a character that we love to this day. So for that, thank you so very much, and I hope you guys enjoyed this fresh look. If you'd like to get one, they are going to be an STCC exclusive, $80 if you want to grab one. I think that if you're a big Batman fan, if you're a Silver Age fan, DC Multiverse fan, then this is definitely going to be right up your alley. But I'm curious to know what you guys think. Comment below, let me know. Let's talk everything. Batman, what was your favorite Batman out of this bunch? Mine is obviously Old Man Dirty. Homeless Guy Bum Batman. I just rip Van Winkle Batman. Whatever you want to call him, that's, that's amazing. The set is amazing. The display, the ingenuity, the creativity, hands down, knockout. One of the best Comic-Con exclusives. I think you should get one. So I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember, Mattel also sent me the Masters of the Universe SDCC set. So I'm going to be definitely checking that one out very, very soon. And when you do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.